I met this lady a long time ago off of Yahoo Messenger in a chat room. She was a cute, black lady of Jamaican descent that had an elegant accent and way of speaking, but she was a tough kind of chick at the same time. I used to go on chat rooms and cut up and try to make people of all types laugh, or I would just try to be annoying, but not enough that the moderator would boot me off. Some users were also able to boot you out of chat rooms, so you'd have to log back in and it was a hassle, so you had to watch it, but there were times I would see a nice lady that I liked in there, and I'd hit on her, and so I saw her. How did she look? She was of average height for a female, and she had a brown skin complexion and she had the body of an athlete. She had nice legs and a very nice, well-shaped butt that fit nicely in jeans and a sundress. Ooh oh. Sounds like she's nice and curvy. Oh my goodness. I just love that. Tell me more. Well she was in this chat room, but she wasn't looking for a dude to talk to. Her man was overseas in Afghanistan, but he gave her permission to see other women sexually because she was bisexual. She divulged to me that she actually kind of preferred women more, but she loved her husband. But this guy was in the service over there and she was alone. So you kept talking to her? What kind of snake mess is that? Well yeah, that's the thing. She turned me down, but kept talking to me. I would be like, I gotta go, and she would pull me back into the conversation, because we had interesting conversations, or she'd be like, okay. I'm leaving now, and I'd say something that would keep the convo going, and this happened like this over the course of several weeks. So you two kept in touch? Oh. Yes. Apparently we frequented the same chat rooms, I guess and I recognized her screen name and avatar, and would usually be the one to spark up new conversation the next day. But somehow I convinced her to mess with me. Up in here messing with married women man you're a snake my brother, I bet you even have a low sperm count. Why do you say that? Because like the snake that you are, you're always crawling around on your belly. Now get back to this story about this Jamaican chick. Okay, so she finally agreed to let me come over. I knocked on her door. There was no immediate answer, but I figured she was checking her people to check me to make sure that my pics matched how I looked in person. Finally she opened the door and man oh man she was wearing panties that didn't match her bra. I thought that was weird, but gosh darn she was well put together. I walked in and wasted no time and started kissing her and removing her clothes and proceeded right to the cunnilingus which opened her up like a can of sardines. So you're one of those kind of black guys. You actually eat off the plate, huh? Didn't learn anything from that DMX and Cisco song, huh? Get back to the story. Well she returned the favor and I took her from behind. Raw action. No protection. Neither one of us cared. This again is a married woman that wasn't even looking for men in the chat room, and I believed her, but I somehow got her to agree to all of this. I don't know if I have any game as I've many times before admitted to not having any, but I am very honest with women, and very, very straightforward and candid. To some it's off-putting, but to some it's refreshing and they respond in kind. I see what you did there. You put the onus on her, but you probably caught her at a weak point in her life. I mean, her man is overseas serving his country, and this is how you repay him. I hear you boss, but at the end of the day it's her decision, and I was like let's keep this going, and we did for about two months or so. She was an odd female though kind of moody, and sometimes it felt like she expected me to be able to read her mind. One time we went out to Applebee's and she was sitting across from me at the booth, and she started playing footsie with my genitals with her bare feet. I was turned on, but we're waiting for the waiter to come back with our drinks, so I was kind of focused on that. She's very spur of the moment when she gets horny I guess, because she got up and walked off as if she wanted me to follow her, but I'm kind of slow and just didn't catch on. I guess she took care of herself while she was in the restroom, because she was in there for a while, but she came back with an attitude that lasted the rest of the time we were there in the restaurant. After we ate, we left. I turned the radio station in my car to some urban hip hop, and she sort of angrily turned the channel to something that she felt was more appropriate and gave me this mean look. Sounds crazy man, but continue. So yeah remember I told you that this sister is very nice looking. Totally had a nice body, but aside from her pretty face, I would say that her backside was her next best feature, and I would compliment her on it all the time. We were in a convenience store going to get some snacks and drinks to go back to her place I thought nothing of it, but I decided to lightly smack her butt, and you would have thought that I hit her with a paddle with her reaction, well her reaction wasn't that bad, but she let me know that I cannot do that ever again, especially in public mind you were isolated by ourselves behind an aisle, so I don't know what she was so mad about. Isn't this the same chick that you're busting all types of nuts in cause you'll aren't wearing protection at all, but you can't smack her on the butt? That's funny to me man. Women are something else sometimes. Yeah and we went right to her house and got it unlike nothing happened, but I would say that she didn't give my Peter any kisses, even though I gave her cunnilingus, as per usual. I figured she was still mad, but we didn't have grudge or angry sex with each other. 
She just didn't go down on me I thought all of this was a trip because a picture of her husband was right next to the bed that they well now we slept in and had sex in she didn't bother putting the picture up or turning it around like most chicks would do when I would come over. How did it end? I can tell that's coming by the way that you're talking. You're right. It ended in on her terms, which in the end is always better, but got me good she called me over like any other time how she does, and it seemed like I was coming over so we could hook up, as usual, but no it was a sit down meeting, basically. Picture the whole house dark with a few candles lit in the room that we're in. Seems like a romantic setting. Well that's what I thought too, but she was like, I can't do this anymore. My husband would be ashamed of me if he knew what I was doing with you, and I only really had permission to mess with other females. I still tried to get her to continue this with me, but she was serious about ending it and so, we ended it with a kiss and a long hug. I was hoping we could do it one last time, but she stood her ground and I left and never saw her again even in the chat rooms that we were in. I'm sure she changed her name to something else and changed her avatar to avoid you. This girl sounds like she needs it. Whether it's attention or something, and even though she says she likes females more than men as a bisexual woman, perhaps she still needs that male presence in the bedroom, while her man is gone, I don't know, but it was an interesting story, I'll be here for the next one, you horny dog you.